Referee in charge for the second bout is Ryan Thorp. I love the flyweights, Danny. Yeah, the flyweights bring the uh, the action. No, also the, you get a chance to see a lot of technique and incredible speed. Fast paced. Literally, don't blink. Yeah, fast paced <laughs> fights and yes, don't blink. Uh, here comes the action. Let's hope so. Ready? Ready? Fight. Sachin Panbar in the red trunks. Kapil Kumar in the blue. No touch of the gloves. No touch of gloves because uh, there's a lot of bad blood between both these fighters. Uh, at the weigh-ins, there was a lot of pushing and shoving. And oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> well, interesting with uh, Kapil is that he's got a solid right hand. Kapil has some heavy hands, but Sachin has improved tremendously in terms of his grappling and all-round MMA skills. Look at it, this is already a new Sachin that we're seeing. He's yeah. taking his time, he's Calm, being patient. Calculative. He's taking his time, he's measuring his range, his distance, and he's waiting to counter. But what I think is, yeah, what I think is it's going to be like a, a fake uh, flurry of punches or kicks, but he's going to shoot for the takedown. That's, that's what I think. A no. couple of feints and look for that double leg. And uh, Couple's playing very defensive. Couple is Couple's de expecting those... Uh, he's expecting the takedown and uh, he's uh, a little cautious. I think they're there just waiting for that flurry. Whoa. There you go. Couple looking for the takedown. He's got an arm underneath. Oh, no. It looked like an attempted guillotine for a second there. And Kapil gets mount instantly. Sachin needs to be careful. This is not the first time he's been uh, underneath uh, a superior grappler. Well, the well, the thing with uh, Kapil is that there. he isn't a grappler. He's just strong. So uh, I'm not uh, sure if, uh, if Sachin is going to be ready to face the heavy artillery. Uh, he faced it, Fal Khan. <laughs> Oof. Whoa! Heavy body shots. Couples landing those shots to the body. You is, can't uh, take too many of those. But uh, Sachin trying to buck his hips, trying to get out of there. He's looking for. You can see on the right hand side, he was looking for a leg to flip him over. He's brought it back to half guard now. Oh, he's got to be careful again. Couple gets mount. Good technique so far. Taking his time. Have you noticed, Danny? And Kapil also, as a fighter, has started becoming so much more better. Beautiful reversal. And a beautiful reversal. Just as I was about to say, he's been patient and reverses the position straight into mount. Sachin, on the other hand, has been working a uh, lot on his grab. Kapil is holding on for dear life right now. I've said this so many times. Because the thing is, when uh, when a fighter knows that uh, the one on top Look at that knows technique. his top game. Yeah, that's, that's a proper that. position. Just locked his legs there. Uh oh, but he's got to be careful. Whoa. Oh, and reversal again. This is what I call the uh, the Bollywood moment. Uh -oh. Top to bottom, bottom to top. Once again in the mount position. But you can see the difference in technique automatically. Well, that's the interesting thing that, you know, that, that mixed martial arts is going through. The evolution of the sport is, is, actually, is actually reaching, you know, I would call a kind of peak. Because here, here's a wushu fighter taking on a kickboxing and karate fighter. And they're both fighting on the ground. Yeah, and they know they what they're to doing. They both know what they're doing. But I would favor uh, Sachin in, uh, in, in that uh, field more than I would uh, Kapil. But so far, Kapil Kumar is uh, looking as the more dominant one. He's got a solid mount. Well, the, the thing with... Uh, 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 look at this. Reversal. The thing with Sachin is he has been training with big boys at the camp. He is actually the lightest guy in the camp. Look at that. Look at Sachin. Immediately, he tried looking for an arm. Whoa. Well, Kapil is looking for the guillotine. He... Oh, I think it's deep. He's got it in quite deep. Sachin needs to be careful here. No, he's still okay at that point. No, now he's in, in a bit of trouble. Oh, now he's in big trouble. Well, he shouldn't have done that. He needs to be careful. That guillotine looks tight. But Sachin Panwar is a warrior. Sachin looks okay, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's a solid fight. Oh, that, that is a tight guillotine. He doesn't have it high. I think it's... Well, uh, Sachin's very patient. Uh, Staying extremely calm this in this fight position. has got everyone on the edge of their seats. Kapil has to be careful here because if he keeps pushing for the guillotine and, and if it's not doing much to Sachin, he's going to burn out those arms. Yeah, and that's, that's what's going to happen. Kapil still holding on to it. 
Sachin trying to pass guard. He's trying to get out. Pass to half guard. And oh, there and you go. Out. Immediately. And now look at this. Now this is going to be fun to watch because immediately he passes guard. Oh, he, I think he oh, almost tried wow. to for a knee wow. there. Wow. Very, reversal. very interesting. And 10 seconds more. Very interesting fight. I'm loving this. Heavy technical bout. Oh, again mount. That's Indian fighters are learning the sport of mixed martial arts. Awesome. Very good fight. Great round Congratulations to both the fighters. Very good fight. Very evenly matched. Great round number one. Now you look at the highlights, Danny. If you see this, if, I, I don't know how to score this round because I would say I would give the edge to a uh, couple because he, he controlled the mount position yeah. a little longer okay. than, uh, than, say, Sachin. Couple out muscled him, and of course, Sachin reversed that look. position every chance he got. He looked for the guillotine here, was unsuccessful, primarily due to Sachin. This could have ended up disastrously for Sachin Panbar, but he pulled out of it. Oh my god, I almost went to sleep on that one, Arjun. And here we go for round two. No, Interesting he's ready. fight. Interesting fight. I'm loving it. Here we go. Round number two in this flyweight contest. Back. Look at this, Danny. Before the fight started, we, we assumed that it's going to be a ridiculous, fast-paced fight, yeah. like Ready. what these guys usually fight. do. But this is turning out to be a very technical online grappling fight. Again, picks him up, slams him straight into side control. But we knew Kapil Kumar can do that. The crowd woke up with that slam. Look at this, such a looking again. Ah. Kap oh, nice knee to the body. Again. Kapil looking for that guillotine. He's got the arm in. I don't think he quite has it in the proper position. Sachin trying to uh, get out of the hole. Perhaps look for a single leg. I think I've got a new name for Kapil. He's Mr. Guillotine. Mr. Attempted Guillotine is... <laughs> Whoa! Very nice. Trip. Straight. Very nice. I am completely shocked at how easily he's controlling He's how easily he's controlling uh, Sachin Panwar. It's it's crazy. He trips him, he throws him down, lands up either inside control or full mount. But props to Sachin Panwar because he's been defending himself very well from uh, the mount position. He hasn't uh, allowed uh, Kapil yeah, to posture yeah, up. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't given him a chance to cause no. damage. Uh, he's, he's very active. But the thing with Kapil is that he's got a very high mount at this point. I hate the high mount. The high mount is one thing that's you know, usually difficult. I mean, there are a lot of times that at MMA fighters, you know, oh yeah, he's, he's trying to slip out the back door. Uh, he's trying to buck those hips. And the thing is, if you've got a fighter on you, you know, especially with the high mount, the issue that you face is that you, you try, you know, you, you, most you of the time yeah. you start gassing, you know? Because yeah. it, it takes so much of energy. Now he's a little lower, now he's got his back. He's got one hook in. He's looking for... Oh no, he's just look. He's, he's content in just riding him, to be honest. Pushes him up against the fence. Ran into the cage. Sachin trying to reverse position. Oh, oh, look at this. Standing rear naked choke attempt. Oh, he, he's got it cinched up. It looks tight. Wow, it looks tight. Sachin needs to be really careful here. Uh oh, this is a bad position. Stop, stop. Oh, he's tapping. And wow. Kapil wins. Kapil Kumar. Kapil Kumar has beaten another MMA fighter. Wow. That is crazy. Unreal. What do you know? That is crazy. <laughs> Well, he's the, uh, the MMA killer. Great fight by Kapil Kumar, extremely technical. And put on, just put on a fabulous performance. He yeah, but, but, but the sad thing is that uh, Kapil is now fighting in, in the flyweights, right? Yeah. Well, I'm sure he, if, he, if given the opportunity, he would love to step up to bantamweight. Great fight. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, by submission, rear neck and choke. In the second round, in two minutes and seven seconds, the winner in the blue corner, Kapil! Kuh!